So guys, welcome back to another one. And yeah, you already read the title, you already seen the thumbnail, so let's get straight into it. And today we are using a pretty diabolical team here because we are actually using a old unit that is quote unquote new again. And uh, yeah, I'm talking about this Philo. So if you don't know, Philo got a update with this new collab, and unironically, she is pretty damn insane. So what her what she does is every time a enemy has a debuff, she does more damage to that one enemy, right? The more debuffs the enemies has the more damage she does pretty simple but today we made a full-on debuff team that i think is making this philo like 10 times better so we are using a of course we are using a merlin couldn't <laughs> i couldn't remember her name for a second but we are using a merlin and if you don't know like merlin is a debuff character the, everything she does is just debuff the team she has two aoe's and literally with those two aoe's she keeps on debuffing then we have of course queen hell and if you don't know how queen hell works is every time a enemy attacks you you apply a debuff on them and that debuff is corrosion damage and like i said the more de debuffs we have on the enemies the more damage we do so i'm thinking here if we go second we can one one shot uh one shot kill a full-on team with her aoe i think it is possible so i thought you know what let's actually try it out so of course with that being said guys if you like this sort of content of course consider liking consider subscribing it really helps out the channel and it honestly makes my day and with that being said guys i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and yeah let's get on to our first match here with of course this philo team so for our first match of today we are up against <laughs> welcome silver boots I'm sorry, uh, I'm just gonna say it. I don't know what kind of team you're using. <laughs> what is this team? When I run, yeah, I'm kind of afraid. The reason why is because he has like two big hitters, right? He has like DK and of course the one ultimate here. So they are gonna hurt, that's for sure. But I don't know what kind of team that is. Uh, can we actually take him down in this turn? Let's see. Oh, okay. We take down the Escanor and the Melee. The DK is still alive, but Escanor is also quote unquote alive because he has this, these uh, like four revive stacks. That's fine though. And he has a Mal in the back. What? I don't get it. I don't get it. What kind of team is this? Enlighten me, someone, please. Comment down below if you know what kind of team this is. This is insane, man. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. Then he... Can he single tag the six? I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't even know what he's doing, man. I, I, <laughs> I can't say anything to this. I don't know. Uh, what we are going to do, though, is we are going to AoE with our Queen Hell. We are going to AoE again with our Merlin, just because, yeah, that's... Uh, He's he, he, the one, the one, that's his name. I kind of forgot Eskenor's name for a second. Yeah, we're going to take down the DK. I honestly don't trust this Eskenor, so we are going to single target to attack him afterwards with Orphilo. And I think we should be fine. I don't think the Mal can do anything on his own, right? He doesn't even have the Holy Relic, so I think we should be fine. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I still don't know what kind of team that was. To be fair, kind of respected. He's trying, but... It, it makes no sense. Let's see, yeah, or Queen Hell is still alive, and I think... How much damage do you guys think the level 3 is going to do? He has two Corrosion stacks, so I don't think it's going to do much, but let's just let's just see. Or, you know what, guys, I know, it is Orphilos, it is Orphilos' video today. We are going to attack with Philo first. Let's see how much damage Orphilo with the level 2 single target attack does, and actually uh, quite a lot, damn, okay, okay. More than 100k, that's insane. Of course, yeah, with that being said, guys, we won our first match pretty easily. I don't know what kind of team that was. So let's get on to our second match of today. So for our second match of today, we are up against another pretty weird team. He does out CC us, okay, but he is using actually a pretty scary team. I, I, why did I say that? Okay, so what he's doing here, actually pretty smart. He doesn't have, well, I think he has a Kusak or like a... Uh, what was his name? Like the demon who counters. Uh, Chandler, yeah. I think he has a Chandler. But to be fair, this Diane is a little bit better than that Chandler. So what he's trying to do here is, of course, uh, put up the taunt and let his DK survive for two more turns. And then he wins, right? But he did an AoE. And yeah, look at all those debuffs. And we are also going to put on some other debuffs with our Merlin. And then we are going to AoE. Unironically, I think we can take him down here. So let's see. Okay. Merlin, come on, come on. Okay, he's using dodge food. That kind of hurts. That literally hurts my soul to see. 
that sucks. <laughs> Damn, that hurts. But then we do an AoE that's actually doing a lot of damage right here. That is huge. And now we do Orphilo AoE. And yeah, look at that. There goes the DK. There goes the melee. And we are fine. That is pretty huge. He was also using dodge food. He was using dodge food. He out CC'd me. And we still took down his DK and his melee. That is fire. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Okay, he's gonna... Can he ultra move actually with this Diane? I don't know. Can he ultra move? I don't think so. He didn't ultra move with his Diane. Uh, there goes my Merlin though. Yeah, she does not survive that uh, attack from his uh, Eliz. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What can we do here? Those are a lot of debuffs though. Okay, hear me out. What we are going to do is just... Do I double... It? Should we do a double... I don't know. Or maybe we just go for the ult. That's also an option, right? If we do this, and then like AoE with our Philo again, because that AoE is going to put on some more corrosion. And yeah, look at the damage. 82k, not too bad. Then we AoE again. The Liz is going to get revived, I think. Yeah, she is going to get revived, but we, are, we, we, we should be fine. We should be fine. We have our Queen Hell ultimate. Hopefully she can survive. And then, let's see. Hopefully he does not put up another taunt. Connection a bit unstable. That's that's fine. If we can win, I will take it, man. Let's see. Another AoE. I think my Queen Hell survives that, right? Yeah, she does. She does. That's huge. There goes her ult, though. That kind of hurts. Then single target attack, but she's still alive. Look at that. Look at that. She's still there. She is still there. Uh, okay. I know it's I know it's Philo's day. I know it's Philo's day, but we kind of have to do this, right? Look at all the, look at all those stacks, and we have a level three. We have to do this, guys. I'm sorry, but we have to. Okay, how much damage is this gonna be? Come on, come on, Queen Al, surprise me. We are an ungeared. Okay, kind of disappointing, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. He gives up. Honestly, I get it. So let's get on to our third and our final match of today. So for our third and our final match of today, he does out CC me. Okay, that's fine. He's using a Vittoria, a Queen Hell, and a Albedo. Honestly, I am so afraid it's not even funny. But, but guys, we have the power of or KFC chicken. Two, K two KFC chickens against each other. Who is gonna win? Is he gonna put up a taunt? Of course he is. That hurts. That sucks. We should be fine, guys. It is fine. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I just noticed that he's also using a Queen Hell, right? So he's also putting up a taunt. That's that's not that okay. That 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 sucks. What we are gonna do is, of course, double AOE. I know the corrosion is gonna suck, but hear me out. We are gonna do a. <sighs> Honestly, honestly, I'm thinking we we just do another AoE with our Queen L. I think that's the play. I don't know if that's the right play or not, but that's the play that I'm gonna go with. Let's see. Come on, Merlin. Come on, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more damage. Okay, actually, actually, not too bad. Not too bad. The corrosion is gonna suck though. But we do AoE again with our Queen Hell. That's a lot of damage. In our only it is. And the corrosion on our Merlin is diabolical. Damn. 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 D damn. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, guys, guys. Don't be afraid. We should be fine, guys. Why would you do that? Why would you actually do that? Why would you do it? How much damage did he do? Did, did he do like 700k? Did he actually do like 700k? I did not see that. How much damage did he do? That, that, that hurts my soul. Why would you go against a little child? What is that for play, man? What is that kind of play? You know what? Because you did that, I'm not gonna hold back anymore. I'm gonna throw some dirt in your eye. If you know what that's from, shout out to you. Let's let's do this. And I think we are able to take down the albedo with this. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. The counter's fine, guys. The counter's fine. Don't even worry about it. Then we AoE again with our Merlin. And okay, now the level two single target attack. Come on. And there goes his Vitoria. That is huge. That's honestly huge. 160k damage. Okay, his uh, albedo is stunned. But that is a lot of corrosion on us. And he has a tier. Okay, he has two cards to play. He has two cards to play. We should be fine in theory. We should be fine. If we can pull off the Queen Hell ultimate, we instantly win here. So come on. Come on. Please. Don't. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. He has to choose. 
He has to choose. He chooses or Queen Hell. No, why would you actually choose or Queen Hell? Why would you do that? Why would you actually do that? Can we get a Queen Hell single target attack? Yes, we can. Of course we can. Huge. No, the tier. The tier. No, no tier. You're actually ruining it. Tier, why would you ruin it? Tier, come on, man. Come on, Tyr. If we could have just focus the Queen Hell, we should be fine. But Tyr has the taunt. No. Tyr is ruining it. It's... Let's see. We ult. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. Ooh. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Merlin actually pulled off the biggest comeback in history with her ultimate. I did not expect that. Wait. Since when can you have like two revives? Is that new? I never saw two revives on one Queen Hell. Is that a glitch? No way, right? Is that actually a thing? I did not know. You you can have two revives with a Queen Hell? No way, right? That has to be a bug or something. No way, that's actually possible. Damn, I is that actually possible? I guess so, I guess so. But yeah, we should be fine here because we're going to take her out first with our Queen Hell. Okay, there goes her one revive. Then we take her out once again with our Nanashi. There goes her other revive. So she has no more revives left. We still have a one revive with our with our own Queen Hell. And we have the Nanashi ult. So I think we should be fine here. I think we already won this. But let's just wait and see because you know, you know, some people can make the biggest comebacks in history. But not her. But not her. Okay, we won. That is actually pretty, pretty awesome. So, of course, with that being said, guys, if you like this sort of content and he leaves, honestly, I get it. Don't even blame him. But yeah, if you like this sort of content, of course, consider liking, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So, of course, with that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the day, and bye-bye.